Morning. It's another festival vlog. Tell them where we are. We are at Back in the Day Weekender. <laughs> and it has been banging. It's been so loud so far. We were yesterday, we arrived yeah. early just because everyone's setting up and the sound check was insane. Oh my wasn't god, it was mental. Jesus, you like your house hard, loud, and you can eat it. <laughs> it was loud and then today woken up to a beautiful sunny day and I'm doing breath work at 12. Yeah, Yoga Wild are setting up. They're going to yeah. start the day with some yoga by the lake. It's super pretty so we'll show you around the location which is the same lake on which Lindsay has her studio. studio, which is over the other side. But the festival this weekend is this side of the lake with glamping, live music, live music. DJs. <laughs> Home fired pizzas. LED, ecstatic dance. Ecstatic dance, now we love a bit of ecstatic yeah, dance. Yeah, the Charmaine's cracking. This is silent disco on steroids. Yeah. Dance, isn't it? So yeah. right up Lindsay Street, so we show a bit of that. Yeah. Obviously there's an issue, this is a dance music festival in terms of noise. Yeah. And that means that's going to affect our copywriting. So you may not get the full effect on the music and yeah. we might have to ad lib a bit on the chit chat, but we'll do our best to show you around. Yes. Oh, and also managed to crash the drone already. Again. I wonder whether I've accidentally turned the sensors off or something. The last time I was trying to get it to work again. What do you mean? Oh. Either way, it's a bloody big tree yeah. for this not to see it. So, yeah, add on to... all. Start from now, eh? Yeah. So I'm taking you into the enchanted woodland where Jess and Lindsay would be doing the breath work. However, it rained last night and the ground, although it's drying up, it'll dry up fast. So I think this is where they'll have ecstatic dance later. But I think like the yoga, we'll find that the breath work is going to be down by the lake. And whilst Lisa was stretching everyone out with a bit of morning yoga, well, it's time for you and Jess to uh, Get ready to work your magic, won't it? Yeah. So we're going to take you on a journey today with the music. We're going to do a little bit of grounding meditation to begin so that we're all present. Set intentions to release those things. And then set intentions for what you want to bring in. So you're bringing in that balance. So we've got little mugs down here. It says, do what makes your heart happy. And that is our motto in life. Breathe it in, let it go. We had the honour of holding space outside in nature. It was really beautiful. magic happens and wow just wow I 
love is the medicine that everybody needs. It's so simple. No fear, just love. There was a lot of love in that field. There was a lot of love in that field, weren't there? You are everything you've ever been looking for. Ecstatic dance. Ecstatic dance is... Um... Dancing like no one's watching is the main thing. In yeah. fact, what often is the case is you do it blindfolded, so genuinely no one's watching. Yeah, and the whole point of the shamanic dance is to go within. It's the, the music takes you on a journey, so it takes you all the way through all the emotions. And the idea is that while you're in this dance and you've got your, you've got your headphones on, you've got your blindfolds on, it's about really feeling into your body and really just letting go, like not giving a damn. Like, People just do what they want. No one cares, no one's looking, no one's watching. You, can, you do the robots sometimes. Yeah, I do yeah. lots of, yeah, my moves. <laughs> got I moves. remember the first time I ever did ecstatic dance, I was like really rigid, really self-conscious. I was really holding back, like I'm not lying. It was, it was hard work. And then after a couple of times, and I realized it was because I was in my head and I was conscious of what other people were thinking. I felt like a bit of a dick and after a while, I was like, that is what's been holding me back like, my whole life, is the fear of what other people think. So doing like the breath work, the ecstatic dance and that, it's just literally brought me out of my shell now. Because there's actually a little bit of breath work evolved in ecstatic dance yeah. as well. So there's breathing, there's breath a bit of... Breath of fire. <laughs> there's a bit of narrating going on as well <laughs> from Charmaine. So she'll talk you through yeah. various elements. The music takes you through, like Lindsay says. Yeah. And you can shake it off. Oh, the Kundalini, Kundalini shake. shake. So, oh, oh my yeah. God. So the Kundalini shake, which Charmaine will explain when you do it, you are literally shaking away. Um, you do it for like, well, however long, up to 15 minutes sometimes she does. But the idea of the Kundalini shake is that you're shaking and it helps to shake out the trauma. Which is pretty much what the animal kingdom do, don't yeah. they? If they get, like a deer gets hit by a car, yeah, anything that isn't and... instantly fatal, yeah. then they will go off into the bush and they will shake off the yeah. trauma and that's done then, and yeah. then they move on. And yet we don't shake off our trauma, no. unless you're doing the Kundalini shake and all that. Yeah. That's good, that'll it's, get your butt It's amazing, moving. I remember one, do you remember we went camping and we did that big ecstatic dance out by the lake? And I like the Kundalini shake that day, I actually released so much energy. And I was just crying, all this emotion was coming out. It's like, oh my God, what's all this coming for? It's, I'd been holding on so tight, didn't even realise. And until I'd done that shake, and then afterwards, I was just, oh my God, that, from a good a booty shake. Yeah. <laughs> And it's a bit like when people come and do the breath work and they go, oh my God, I was shaking when I was doing the breath work. It's because when you're doing the breath work, the intention is to clear any energy that's been stored in the body. So old traumas, which is why it's so common. If you ever come to one of my breath works and you start shaking, that's completely normal and it's good because it means it's working. <laughs> There were so many best bits from this festival. I even loved the first night of the um, meeting up with everyone and getting the pizzas on the go. Oh, do you remember that little pickle? <laughs> oh, little yeah. face. I think that would confuse even a vegan as to whether you should eat that one or not. It had a face in it, didn't it? <laughs> that Don't was so eat me. Fun. <laughs> I think just being in that collective. So many creatives were all coming together. No ego, just everyone coming together to create this beautiful tapestry of joy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? in a field. In a field. Proper old school. Yeah. Rave feels. It's amazing. The 
right artwork in, in the, the sound yeah, system. and Gemma, she did all the stuff in the woods. Honestly, it was phenomenal. Yeah, Every hanging out with that many like-minded people and creative people it's an inspiration yeah. for us wasn't it it was so yeah it's inspiring and just seeing everyone you know everyone's we've all got our things that we do haven't we and it's so beautiful when you collectively bring all of that magic together and create something wonderful and that is what happened at that event there were people that had stalls there was um what was that woman she was singing um when the DJ was up and she was doing the, the oh, voice. Oh, she was toasting over the top. That yeah, was amazing. Yeah, that was amazing. She was such a great she, MC. I loved that bit. Yeah, <laughs> she was really cool. It was just a really cool weekend. And the fact that we were out by the lake, in nature, surrounded just by this beautiful Mother Earth. Yeah, to walk around barefoot yeah. for a couple of days. Yeah, it, that was, helps. it was amazing. Yeah, whilst we're talking festivals, we went to Van Life Festival. We did. In Shrewsbury. That was mad, wasn't it? How big was that? It was like a little village. And yeah, they created a town for Van Life. And yeah, um, yeah all credit to everyone. The volunteers, though, yeah, honestly, man. I don't think they get enough. It was really thanks. hot as well. <laughs> yeah. And in particular, our favourite, Nev. Nev, bless you. Sorting us right out. So yeah. uh, cheers, Nev. You're the man. And it is so beautiful to meet all of you guys that have been watching our channel just the love that you've been giving yeah, to us like yeah. it's really overwhelming actually and we're just being ourselves doing what we love and to know that it's inspiring people and you know the amount of people that come we've got a van because of you and <laughs> honestly guys or brownies do what makes your heart <laughs> happy that is what i say and we have one life and it's not all about working nine to five and going home and watching TV every night. It's about getting out in nature. It's about connecting to people you love, having fun, being in that energy of like that vibrant spirit of just curiosity again. Yeah. Looking at life from that beautiful point of view. Yeah, get out there and play. The one thing that you will find in this community is love, isn't it? A lot of it and generosity, kindness, everyone shares, it's just beautiful. That's a lot of goodness. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll leave that one here, yeah? Yeah. Needless to say, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep, and ring the bell for notifications. Oh, she loves that bit. <laughs> Follow on Instagram. And oh yeah, remember you can buy us a coffee. Oh, like. thanks, yes. And thank you to everyone else that's bought us coffees. We'll run your names down the bottom and thank you so much. Your stickers will be coming out. And we'll see you next time at Love, Love Fest, Fest, isn't it? And remember guys, just do what makes your heart happy. What she says. See you later. <laughs>